Okay, today it is my pleasure to introduce as my guests, JJ Deshaun Lewis. And I will let, that's close, I know. Tell me, tell me, JJ, what, how do you pronounce your name? JJ Jean-Louis. Oh, okay, that's much better than I can do. But uh, <laughs> we, we go JJ. JJ plays at Centerville, he's an outside linebacker. 6'3", 210 pounds, and impressive on video. Okay, what's the best thing, JJ, about football? What's the best thing? Uh, it, would, it would definitely be the locker room, you know. Uh, before games, before practice, just being with my teammates, being with classmates, people I've known since Pee Wee uh, and Tom Warner, just being able to know that I get to play next to them on the field and that they got my back you know, the camaraderie in the locker room. That sounds like leadership skills for you as well. If mm-hmm. you, you, and you will be because you're going to be very good football players. Thank and you. What else about football? Why, why football? You say you ran track. You used to play basketball. We'll talk about that in a minute, but why football? I don't know. I just always, I just always stuck to it. Um, something about it, you know, it's always felt right, you know, to be on the field with pads and cleats. For a long time, you've played three sports. Now you're down to two. Mm-hmm. You you gave up basketball to focus, and you know I think uh, I think everybody should play two sports at least, mm-hmm. but not three. Three can, I mean, it's okay, but boy, that takes a lot out of you, and you're getting more specialized every year. Since it's track season, let's talk about track. Tell mm-hmm. you're a sprinter. It's six three. Okay, yeah. tell me your time, best times. Uh, for 100, it's 11 1. Uh, 200 meter dash is 23 3. 40, uh, four by four split is 10 1. Four by two splits, 22 3. It's really good. That that open 200 is pretty good. You're just, you may get that this week. You get a nice uh-huh. warm day, and you're must hopefully peaking at the right time. I'm an old track coach, I told you, so I think I know all that stuff. But yeah. boy, you know, track is funny. There's just some days you got it, don't you? I mean, you're just feeling it. And you yeah. get out there and it's warm outside. And for some reason, it's like anything else. You get that confidence. You got to kick kick tail. And that's real. I wish you the best. Because you're out of districts this week, right? right? Yeah, in Bellbrook. And, and Centerville is a heck of a track program. I mean, yeah. it, it used to be. Okay, we better get back to football. We did play basketball. We get back to football. Tell me, what's your favorite and best positions in the football team? Um, I mean, definitely have to be quarterback because you know that's the most that's the most important position on the field. But um, out of positions I played, outside linebacker has definitely been uh, number one. You know, just being able to be versatile, put my hand in the dirt, or going to coverage, um, blitz, or you know, cover the uh, slot receiver. Um, just I, it's very open. I get to do what I'm able to do, uh, whenever I'm able to do it, you know, it's not just, oh, you're, you're stuck here. Um, I'm versatile. I get to, I get to be on this side of the field. Then I get to switch to the next side of the field. I get to be on weak side and strong side. Um, it's something I love. That's really good. And I will tell you, looking at your video, I haven't seen you in person yet. Looking at your video, you come off the edge pretty fast. Now you can, mm-hmm. you get off the edge pretty fast and you said short, you know, short distance to the quarterback and I told you before we started here most probably most impressive to me is you play to the whistle you finish plays I mean remember the play on the highlight video where you ran the guy down you had an angle but you you know that's when I question how fast you were I mean I know you had an angle but still you caught the guy and Mm -hmm. you to me that's so impressive as far as toughness and competitiveness okay that for what it means I, that's really impressive what do you think you have to work on then um as an outside because i think you're the, excuse me you're an outside mm-hmm. linebacker but the nice thing is you can come up off the edge too so mm-hmm. you know like a hybrid almost so what do you have to work on um i, I was talking to my coach about it um one of my weaknesses that i want to work on make one of my strengths this year is probably coverage. Um, 
getting uh, getting them more covered too, uh, being more man on man. Um, just working on my coverage, being the flat curl, you know. Uh, right. You know, versatile, like I was talking about earlier. Well, that's really good. I would think just naturally, because of your size, you have to work on that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I mean, it's just something you're going to get better at. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anybody in the pros or the colleges that you kind of look, not so much look up to or emulate, Anybody you just kind of say, man, I like that guy. Who anybody Chase like that? Chase Who is that? Young. Chase Young for the Ooh. Washington football team. Oh, Chase Young. That's pretty good mm -hmm. company there you're talking about. He's amazing, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, I like he's game. And you know the other thing about him? And you're smiling, so maybe you're the same way. He's got a great attitude. Mm -hmm. He's a down-to-earth guy, I think. I've never met him, just watching him, things like that. Okay, anybody, anybody in your life so far, your young football career, your, that you kind of also thankful that you have them to support you or have pushed you and have made you better? Anybody there like that? It'll definitely be my mom. You know, she takes that spot, um, staying on me about my grades and getting to practice, um, waking me up early for 5 a.m. in two days, uh, picking me up from practice, you know, getting me tutors and, you know, making sure I'm set. That's really good. I mean, a lot of guys say that. A lot of guys. Uh, mm -hmm. They credit their moms. Some guys are dad. But to your mom, that's, a lot of guys say their moms too. Okay, with that being said, what drives you, JJ? What what makes, what drives you? What, what uh, like for me, it's to be successful and not quit. Words you live by. What are words you live by? Um, be who you're supposed to be. You know, what drives me is the fear of not becoming who I'm capable of being. You know, um, one day figuring out I could have been this or I don't want to be a could have been. I want to be a, I did that. You know, I was there. I lived through it and I can pass that on to the next generation and stuff like that. It's amazing. It's amazing. You're more impressive the more I talk to you. That's really good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What annoys you, Ben? Let's go to the flip side. What annoys you? Little thing. Yeah. It doesn't drive you. What, no, it just kind of bugs you. It gets under your skin a little bit. Uh, teammates who don't take the game as serious as I take it, they're not, they don't have that passion for it. You know, It's kind of like, what, what are you here for? You know, Because um, there's people that want to play. There's people that want to get in the game. And if you're just here to wear the jersey or uh, take pictures and stuff like that for Instagram and stuff like that, don't don't come to practice. Don't come to the game. Don't come in the locker room. I don't want you there. That's good. When I was in high school, we had those guys in the locker room that would go crazy, okay, yelling and screaming. And as soon as they hit the field, they were like church mice. They didn't say anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those are the other yeah. kind of guys. You know, they're all fired up. They're scared to death to be out on the field. I used to, that's a little thing that bugged me. Of course, that's a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. But that's really good. Uh, let's go. Well, I have three silly questions. Here's the first one. If you could trade places with somebody for one day, one day, who would it be? LeBron. <laughs> I, you know, I'll bet you African-Americans or white kids, everybody says LeBron. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, that's good. Why LeBron? <laughs> uh, I want to. I want to see what it's like, you know, to manage media and family the way he balances it, like the way how separate his work life is from his family life. You know, it's I. I. I feel like it's interesting, you know, because um, a lot of people that's hard for them to do. Um, they yeah. get caught up both, and the way he manages time is impressive to me. You know, if if he wanted to, and I've been doing this long enough, I remember when he was a freshman in high school. Just so you know that. If he really focused, now he wasn't the best player like somebody says, but he played wide receiver. If he really focused, he could, he could be a heck of a football player. He's an athlete. He's an <laughs> I'm athlete. telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. The, you mm. I don't know if you could have, as a receiver, I don't know if you could stop him or not. But but anyway. That's, he's, that's kind of like trying to stop DK Metcalf. Yeah, yeah, same thing, same thing. Okay, well, has there been in your short time 
plan a uh, something that you look back on right now and you'll never forget any high points in your career so far i mean you're, you've only been a sophomore but i mean through it can be anything anything you, you'll remember that, that you did freshman sophomore year peewee football anything like that yeah it was my um first game first game uh playing varsity this past year and we were playing against Kettering Kettering Fremont uh I was on kickoff and I got kickoff and um I was pretty timid I was anxious but I was timid at the same time and you know after that uh, I got about 20 yards coach took me in the game I didn't go back in uh he made me play Saturday with the JV he said I need to get my uh my chills out and you know just being on JV is like it didn't feel right. It's not where I wanted to be. And ever since then, I kind of took off. That's when it took off, huh? That's mm -hmm. really good. Sometimes we as coaches have to do that. Give them yeah. a wake-up call sometimes. And that's mm -hmm. good. That's good for you all. Okay. What do you see? We talked about improvement as a player. And uh, the, what's your biggest strength? Did you Have you told me what's the biggest strength as a football player right now? For you, uh, one my my leadership on the field. You know, um, I know what I'm doing. When I'm on there. I make sure I know what I'm doing. I make sure I know what everyone else around me is doing, so they don't they don't screw over the whole team. Because uh, one person makes one mistake, that's a touchdown, and that's the last thing I want. So I make sure I know the coverages that the DB should be in. If they don't know, they they can ask me. Uh, I make sure I know where the middle linebacker should be. If he don't know, he can ask me. I make sure I know which wow. gap I'm gonna going through. If they don't know, they can ask me. Um, so I feel like that would be my biggest strength, just knowing the playbook, uh, knowing responsibilities. Uh, that's really good. It's super. Now, the other thing, you want right beside that, you better be able to walk your talk and do that. And I think you can. You know what I'm saying? Good mm -hmm. leaders, now, they don't have to go nuts and get all hitting guys around, but they got to they gotta be able to walk their talk for sure. Sounds yes. like I'm pretty sure you can. Okay. Second crazy question, okay? What do you do? What's one thing that nobody knows about you? Uh, one thing that I, nobody knows about you. My favorite sport is soccer. That's my first love. Um, I used to, I just stopped playing soccer eighth grade. Uh, I was kind of getting too big for it. That's when I started taking football more seriously. I was kind of getting my size or whatever. But I used to play for NPL, so uh, the national team in center road, we travel a lot. Uh, we were ranked and everything like that. And, you know, I was a striker, so I was scoring goals. You know, I averaged three goals a game. Uh, but that's always my first love. I was going to be wow. my love. See, are they letting your family play it? Uh, no. My okay. mom, he was a volleyball player. My dad, um, he was a little bit towards soccer, but – he lived in Haiti, so soccer wasn't as big as it was with basketball and other stuff. Okay. Okay. Your mom is a volleyball player. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> I love playing volleyball. I'm getting a little too old for it now, but I was <laughs> volleyball was so much fun. If you play it right. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, if you don't you don't carry it and all that stuff. you if you play volleyball right, mm -hmm. right. I even tried to play a little sand volleyball a few years ago. No comp, just having fun. I'm way too old for that, JJ, way too old. Yeah. Okay, I love doing these interviews. What advice would you give a freshman? And, you know, I, you sound like you, you understand it, you understand what goes on. What advice would you give a freshman, say the second week in August or the first week? You know, you've been there for a grind now. What would you tell a freshman? Uh, don't be afraid to correct upperclassmen. If you are confident and you know what you're doing and uh, the junior, the starter above you, he made a mistake and he keeps making the same mistake, don't be afraid to correct him. It's helping out the team. Uh, it's going to make you better because he's going to get better. You're going to get reps against him. Uh, just because uh, he's older uh, doesn't mean anything. You know, one thing I hate is when, you know, uh, that seniority role plays in, like, just because you've been here longer, you know. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're better. That's true. That's really true, by the way. Okay. Uh, what's what advice advice would you give to a recruit, a football? I get started kids, a boy that's starting to get recruited a little bit. 
even in your class, what advice could you tell them about recruiting? Yeah, don't pass up any opportunities, whether it's D1, D2, D3, uh, whether it's just a camp or an offer. Um, Cause I know everyone's trying to go D1, but so are the coaches. Uh, so don't pass up any opportunities, build relationships, uh, get close with everyone, everyone in the recruiting uh, you know, system or whatever. Um, Cause you cut off opportunities that, that could, that could have been the only chance, you know, maybe junior year, your GPA falls down, you're not like, able to go where you wanted to. And those D2 schools no longer interested in you. Yeah. And, and, and this, this year, it's not going to affect you guys as much. Your 23 mm. class, but the 22 yeah. class, it's going to affect those guys. And, and I really think if they get an offer now, you should really, really look hard at it because they're hard, you know, they're hard to get and keep. Yeah. So we'll come back to recruiting at the end. Okay, what's one thing that you can't live without? Food, uh, seafood. That's, <laughs> that's something I have to have at least twice a week. It's mandatory. I mean, I bring I bring some to school, bring a couple meal preps to school, uh, eat there, eat in class. You know, whether it's salmon or tilapia, shrimp, whatever, uh, calamari. Uh, one of my favorites. Something you know, I'll pass it to my friends because you know I want them to enjoy just like I do. So. That's good. That's really good. Okay. We talked about a lot of different things. And uh, my, my last silly question, what talent would you like to have that you don't have and you never will have? What mm. talent would you like to have and you won't ever have it, but you'd like to, yeah, you know, you'd like to have it? Oh, uh, both vocals a vocalist yeah I'll, if i could sing <laughs> you gotta sound voice there man <laughs> yeah, no. if you, I don't, sing, you, over. you don't want to be trying that right now huh and singing anything like that yeah well that's good that's really good uh let's talk recruiting in just a minute mm -hmm. uh, no i forgot one thing let's go back to the books in school how's school going for you um it's been a little more difficult than this year. You know, usually grades aren't a problem, but I mean, we just been trying to keep my head afloat, uh, get my GPA to where, where it should be. Are you, have you guys been in school all year? We have an option if we can go in school or online. I'm usually in school. Yeah, if you can. It's such a, a crazy year. What yeah. do you think you what do you think you major in in college right now? Um, Probably business management or accounting. That's something I'm really interested in. Uh, handling money uh, catches my eye. That sounds good. Okay, let's talk recruiting. These always go so fast. What? How is it going for you so far? Uh, it's been a fun little process. Uh, learning new things every day. You know, uh, coaches reaching out to me, recruiters reaching out to me. Um, it's it's fun, you know. I get to talk to talk to about talk about it with my trainers and my friends, like that. They have the same things going on for them, so uh, they can relate. So we have that right. last, nice little conversations about this. Right. I think. Yeah, and I think uh, you get into some camps. Have you thought much about the camp process yet? How are yeah. you going to do that? Yeah, my trainer just texted me earlier. Um, so I have a little list set up, I'm trying to get at least five or six camps in. Uh, yeah. At most eight, I don't want to over overdo it. Yeah, but, you're, you're you're pushing the envelope with eight now because yeah. you don't want to be. I tell guys, I mean, I've done this a long time. I tell guys be careful because say you get to that seventh or eighth camp and you're whipped, and they don't know that you've been in it. I mean, they don't care. They just want to see you run and do those things. You know what I'm saying? So be careful on that. That's good. Yeah, we're I'm trying to manage it five or six. So. Okay, good. Okay, sounds good. And last question. Why would I want to recruit you? Um, you want you would want to face for your program. Uh, someone who's not going to embarrass the program. Someone who's going, you know, to bring value to it, uh, up the value. Uh, you want to bring in a brother for your players, you know, uh, to the teammates, whether I've known you for two years, whether I know you back in high school, Pee Wee, once we play on the same jersey, I'm your brother. Uh, treat you like one. I respect you like one. Uh, I expect you to respect me like one. 
So uh, I'm not in no trouble. You know, I pay attention to my coaches, respect my coaches, don't matter their age, no matter how long they've been there. Um, it's something that I stand by, you know, morals. Good, good. Well, JJ, I really appreciate you taking the time to be on my podcast. Mm -hmm. Thanks and, for inviting uh, you. Uh, next time I see you, I will pronounce your name, last name correctly, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about I'll, it. I'll practice. Thank you very much. Stay with me, okay? All right. Now, I'm going to turn this off a minute. Okay, if there's, I, you did a great job. I, I, you know, you really did. And, and more and more guys are enjoying this. And, it's, and I hope I could, if you ever need anything, uh, you have my cell phone and you talk yeah. to your head coach and tell him you did this, and John McAllister, and see what he says. My credibility is pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, heck, I'm, I'm old, man. But anyway, and the other thing is, there's so much noise out there. I think you're going to be pretty good talent. There's so much people reaching at you. Who's your trainer you're talking uh, about? Mr. Mori uh, found my way. So. Is, is he trainer Why, as far as physical trainer and things like that? Or? Uh, speed and agility. Okay. 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 Be careful these guys that want your money. I don't mean that. I mean, like, like you pay them to – to work, uh, pay them, and they're supposed to get you out there and stuff like that. Like NSCA, don't do those things. Trust me, you don't have to pay anybody money to do that. I, I, I probably you send me a dollar, and I'll I'll do everything they those guys can do. Okay, mm -hmm. but go through your coach. Now, last question off the record. Give me an idea. Who do you like? And this isn't. I don't tell anybody. Who do you like so far? Really like so far? If uh, you could go to college tomorrow, where would you go? Uh, LSU. 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 Are you from down in that area? No, Ohio LSU State. or LSU. LSU, Ohio State. Oh, Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Have they have they shown you some love? No, not yet. I'm still waiting on them. Well, who who's showing you some? Uh, Attention and love right now. Uh, Wisconsin, Toledo, Boston College, um, Tiffin, uh, Wilmington, Miami. Okay. Kent State. Um, so that's why I think, no. Yeah, I think that's it right now. I think I heard coaches talking about Vanderbilt and uh, Illinois and uh, Maryland, but I haven't got any letters or emails. Okay. Okay. Well, you're going to be fine. I appreciate it. And like I told you, any any time, okay. Have you done your other podcast today? Uh, no, it's after this one, round three. Okay, who's who's doing that? Uh, four one three sports talk. Oh, that's down in Dayton area or something or what? No, I think he's uh Virginia area. Oh, okay, okay. JJ, thank you very much, and I appreciate it. Okay, I appreciate it. Too. Thank and you. If you need anything, I'm there. All right, thank you.